So this one says an amount A increases at a rate proportional to its current amount such that dA dt equals ka, where t is measured in hours. If the amount triples every 11 hours, what is the value of k? So we have this, which is time, right? We have rate proportional, so y is equal to c e to the kt. We're looking for k, but do we have an initial and a, and a final? No, right? That's two unknowns. That's a big problem. Could we make up an initial and a final? We could, right? I mean, think about it. Like, Do all of those initial and final values triple? You have your initial and then the final's tripled? Yeah. And guess what, guys? The constant's going to be the same. Like, If you don't believe me, I'll do the first points, because to me that seems the easiest. Right? Because I, I want to use like zeros and ones as much as possible. I wouldn't want to use zero because then the triple wouldn't be, if you use zero, it wouldn't triple. You'd have zero, zero. But if you want to try two, six, three, nine, go for it. Or do 412, right? I'm going to use the one, three because it's easier. But what you'll notice is the value of k is not going to, is not going to matter. And you'll see why it doesn't matter here in just a second. So if I say that's going to be 3, 1, e to the k times 11. What is the first step you would do anyways, guys? Even if this was, let's just do this as 6, 2. What's the first step you do anyways? What's the first step I do here? Divide by 2. And you're going to get what? Answer anyways. Right? So if I can use 1 to 3, it's just, it's just shortening out the step. Does that make sense, Logan? Yes. Right? But again, don't get stuck on it, guys. You can pay as long as it's tripling, that's fine. Yes. Oh, okay. So I really don't need to write the one there. I can just now take the ln of both sides. Ln of three is equal to eleven k. So therefore, k is equal to one eleventh times the ln of three. Well, I'm multiplying it. Um, or it should be to, um, yeah, tri tripling is just multiplying by 3. So with this. 2 doesn't go into 9. Like, I'm just, tripling is just you're tripling your value. If I say you have, if I say you have $10 and I'll triple your money, you're going to have $30, right? So it'd be times by 3. All right, let's do one more. 